with these niggas, I ride my own wave and they hitting cause this is my moment They wasn't fucking with me when a nigga was down, so I gotta flex on my opponent Cause I wanna hell okay, with the top back, so these bitches can see what they missing I ain't been to hell yet, but I pray for forgiveness cause I know a nigga been sinning And she got the mad shot, so whenever she walks with a guard, I be wishing I'm in it Shout out to my last bitch, cause I fell out of love, had to realize a nigga was tripping Said I had to go get some racks now, so when I hit them up Guys, welcome back to my motherfucking channel, hoes. Okay, okay. Period. It's your girl, Lori Ashley, and today I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to make these amazing strawberries. I'm so proud. They're so freaking cute. I didn't think they were gonna turn out that good, guys. Like. I really did not. I thought I was doing that for that. But they're pretty long and this was super easy. So, if you guys want to learn how to make these chocolate covered strawberries, make sure you go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And then continue watching this video. Let's get into it. Guys, we're going to go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go rinse these and then I'll be back after rinsing them twice for like 15 minutes. <laughs> Alright guys, so I did go ahead and rinse my strawberries twice for 15 minutes and then I let them sit in a bowl of warm water for about 5 minutes. You can add vinegar to your bowl if you want to make sure for sure all the bugs or anything that's on it is off of it. You can do that. If you're selling the strawberries, you should probably do that. We're now going to get into the strawberries. I did get two different kinds of chocolates. I got a dipping chocolate that's already like in this little tin that you just warm up. And then these ones you have to melt on the stove. You can warm them up too, but we're gonna do the stove method method for these and the warm up method for this and just see which one is easier, makes them look better, things like that. So we're gonna start with the warm up one. It says remove glass lid and inside seal. Microwave chocolate at one high for 30 seconds per repeat until most of the chocolate is melted. Stir until completely melted, smooth, and glossy. Okay, you take two minutes, dip, and serve for a hard chocolate coating. Your favorite treat on wax paper covered plate for 15 to 10 minutes until chocolate is firm before serving. Okay, here's the tips. Tips for use heat slowly and stir. <laughs> Only will cause chocolate to separate. Chocolate. Separated chocolate can be salvaged. Oh, it cannot be salvaged, y'all. So once you burn this shit, it cannot go big. <laughs> Make sure fruit and utensils are dry before dipping. Oh, see, I didn't know that. So I have to make sure these strawberries are dry. Moisture will cause chocolate to come clump together. Cover and refrigerate leftover chocolate store up to two weeks. To remelt, follow the instructions on the label so you can remelt this. That's cool. Hold on. all I needed to know. You can remelt this chocolate, guys, and store for two weeks. So bad. I thought that was cool. Alright, y'all. So step two. According to this jar, they do recommend that you dry the fruit. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, because I do know there's not supposed to be no water in it. I learned that the first time around. I'm literally placing the strawberries into the napkins and drying them. Y'all, this is what the patted dry strawberries look like. Literally just took a napkin. Yeah, right. Now we're gonna take this, the baker's dipping chocolate, taking the lid off. So the wafers are literally the exact same as the white chocolate ones. And the Gardelli little circle thing. So, I don't know. So we finna see y'all, we finna swing. Um, the chocolate's not melted at all. <laughs> at all. What the hell? One high. Let me try to figure out how do I make it high. It looks the same. All right, it's starting to melt, y'all. It's starting to melt. Oops, let me show y'all. It is starting to melt. I also have 
the drizzle, y'all. The drizzle. Hey guys, it's ready this time. Okay, so I did 30 seconds twice on high. Oh my god, I'm so fucking excited. I'm just gonna stir it until all the chocolate chunks are gone, and then I'm gonna start dipping. We love to see it. All the chocolate chunks are gone. All right. So all I did for this one to use the Bakersfield dipping chocolate, I warmed it up on 30 seconds twice, and in between the 30 seconds, I stirred it, and it's just it's giving everything that we're supposed to get. So we're now gonna take our strawberries and just dip it in the chocolate. So my little metal skewers probably are not gonna work. Let's see what you're giving. Stop playing with me. Period, you guys see it, y'all see it. Y'all see it. I don't have parchment paper, but that is like a non-stick pan, so it should come off. This one. Now that we're done dipping the strawberries in the milk chocolate, we're gonna move on to the white chocolate. But first, we're gonna pop these in the fridge, guys. They look really good. You know, they look good. <laughs> and it was, it was super easy to do the microwave in the chocolate. It is still some in there, but I only wanted to do half and then half white chocolate. So I probably will save this either for another time or I might do chocolate drizzle. But I think I'm gonna do pink because you know it's Valentine's Day, so we'll probably save that for another time. But they look bomb. I already put some sprinkles on some. And then I have I'm gonna use the other decorations for the other ones, but we're gonna wait until I do like the drills and stuff. So we'll pop these in the fridge. Okay guys, so I'm kind of gonna make my own version of a double boiler. I'm using a pot, just like a medium sized pot, and I'm gonna use this pan, guys. Usually it's like either a pot in like a deep bowl or it's a pot on top of a pot, but I don't have that kind of pot. Like I don't have a double boiler, guys. <laughs> so we're gonna make our own, and I'm gonna be using this pan. I don't know how it's gonna turn out, but I feel like it might turn out good. So, I'm gonna turn on the water. I'm gonna turn it on high, and I'm just gonna get it going. Some people say it doesn't have to be boiling, so I'm not gonna get it to a boil, but I'm gonna get it almost to a boil. And yeah, I'm gonna come back to you guys once the water is hot. All right guys, so I accidentally, <laughs> I accidentally allowed the water to become to start boiling, but you know, it's gonna be all right. So I put the thing on there. We're gonna take our dry daddy white chocolate, melting wafer. And first of all, some of it is already melted, which is weird. All right, it should work. They're starting to melt, guys. All right, 
right guys, so now that we've done the white chocolate, I'm gonna go ahead and take some red color food coloring and do one drip because it's really not supposed to have wet stuff in there. <laughs> This is how all the strawberries turned out. I did notice the white doesn't cover the strawberries as well. But you can double dip them because I only used a lot of, I mean, a little bit of chocolate. There's still a lot left. So you can double dip yours, but because I'm eating mine, I'm not going to double dip them. But we are going to melt some more chocolate so that we can create a group. Still some in the bag. I would buy this because you get a lot more chocolate than you do with this one, but you can just microwave this. Like you don't even have to put it in a separate bowl. That's pretty fire. No. But this one, you got a lot more. And it's not too hard to heat them up with the stove method. I mean, I, they were both the same for me. For me, they were the same. Now that the white chocolate is melting again, we're gonna take a plastic baggie. I got chocolate on my fingers, guys, so ignore that. You're gonna take a glass cup, you're gonna put your baggie in the cup like this. Okay, I'm hoping I'm not poking a hole with my nail. I'm gonna pour the chocolate right into the plastic bag. No water is getting in there. I know that's not good. Now we're gonna take our bag. We're gonna take our bag. It should look like this. And you're gonna cut a super, super tiny hole. And don't, um,. Don't zip your bag up because it will make it bust. We're going to drizzle the strawberries. It's hot, guys. It is hot. Oh my god, they're so cute. I also have the drizzle, y'all. The drizzle. Guys, this is how my freaking strawberries turn out. They are so cute. Now, some of them, the chocolate drizzle is looking a little crazy. You can see it like on the dark chocolate ones, well, milk chocolate ones, because you can see the color more. You can see how crazy they look. But the white ones, look how cute. Stop playing with me. Seven per. Guys, I don't know. But everything you need to make these strawberries, you can get them at Giant. But I don't re recommend you get your actual strawberries at Giant because my strawberries went bad literally the next day after me buying them. They had mold. So I don't know what happened there. You know, I had to go to Target and get new strawberries. So I recommend you get your strawberries from Target. Because <laughs> they had the bigger strawberries too. Giant had like the tiny ones. And then like the first time I went to Target, they had the big ones. And then when I went back, they only had the small ones. So I don't know. But get your strawberries from Target, guys, okay? I I liked the stovetop better because the chocolate melted faster. And I didn't have to keep putting it, like, putting it in the microwave was annoying. Because I was scared I was going to burn it. Because I couldn't really see what it was doing in the microwave. But on the stovetop, it was quick. I could add more if I wanted to. I got a bigger bag of this doing it the stove top way. So I feel like you get more for your money when you do it the stove top way rather than doing the microwave one. Cause putting this in the microwave, I feel like you're still gonna mess it up. Like, I don't know. 
I wouldn't even do all that. I would just, if you want to do the microwave way, get the cup microwave one because it's everything you already need to microwave it. But the stovetop way really isn't as hard as it looks, guys. Like, I was scared, but it, it came out bomb. All right, guys, so thanks for watching. Make sure you go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe to join hashtag LA Gang, okay? Because it's gonna be like an extended special part of this video. I'm gonna have people test them and see if they look as good as, you know, I think they do to everyone out. I'm gonna go give everybody a taste test of my strawberries, guys. I'm actually excited because I'm so proud of these. We're gonna go do the taste test. Oh wait, I need to take pictures first. I'm gonna take pictures and then we're gonna go and do this taste test. Mm. Hello. <laughs> Say, don't do that. This is a strawberry. Hmm. Presentation wise, look at the white ones. Look how bomb they are. You see it. You see expect it. Expect it better. Expect it better. What? <laughs> this one looks nice. You expected better? I thought these were better than I expected of myself. Okay, these are, this actually looks good. This one. Hmm. I think it's sweeter than I expected. Hmm. Pretty good. Overall, pretty good. You see it? How do they look? Do they look better than you thought they were gonna look? They look amazing. They look amazing. Yes. <laughs> look at the white ones. Aren't they cute? Yes. Yeah. Which one can I try? You can taste whatever one you want to taste. How is it? Mm -mm -mm. Ten out of ten. Uh, Sam, purr. Did you think they were going to look this good? Or you thought they were going to look worse? I knew they were going to look this good. You knew it? Okay, purr.